from my few YouTube friends that I have out there and a few subscribers that I have um, I'm just uh, trying to load this uh, uh, short video to show I have a 1988 Chevy truck old truck and 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 I've done everything most of most everything to it and the last time I bought that I took out the old distributor I put in I put in the, the I took it all apart I took the old one out, took this, this pin that comes out, took out, out the shaft and, and I uh, put in the pickup coil because the pickup coil was making explosions and that's what happens when you have a bad pickup coil it starts making all kinds of detonation and, and blah 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 stuff like that and uh, I'm, not a, I'm not a good imitator on sound so bear with me with that so now, you can criticize me on that too now. Hey, so I'm just showing this short video to show that I bought this one at Amazon from to help, help people if they're looking for some way to go get it. You know, I'm not telling you to go to Amazon. I'm just telling you what I did. You can go wherever you like. You go to Amazon. You go to Rock Auto. You can go to eBay. Any of those places are reputable. They say that eBay has, sells bad stuff. That eBay doesn't sell any bad stuff. eBay sells cheap. There are sellers on eBay that sells good stuff, and there are sellers on eBay that sells cheap stuff. They sell cheap stuff, and they sell good original parts. Uh, not, I don't think they're original. For fact, you know, like from the from the dealer, but there's a second to the dealer, and. Um, they're pretty good. I, I've, I've bought a lot of parts from eBay that, that sometimes you, you get a wrong part, you send them back. That, that happens anywhere. But they, they, they try to criticize eBay and say that they sell a, a lot of junk and this and that. No, they sell junk and they sell good stuff too. It's up to you. You want to buy junk, you buy junk. If you want to buy better stuff, you buy better stuff. So anyway, I sent for this one and eBay first. But I didn't ask for this one, a red one. I asked for a black one like this one. I don't think it was made from cordons, but I just picked that one. Because he said it was coming from the Holly factory where they make the... the, the it's coming. It was a bunch of baloney. He sent for it from California. He said his, his place was in, in New York City. In Hollis, New York. That's over there by Queens. I real upper queens going into going into uh, uh, Long Island. So anyway, I thought he, his shop was over there, his business was over there. So I, I'm getting this from, from from California. I'm pissed off as it is already because I don't like ordering from California. So they take a long time to get here. So this one looks pretty much. It looked pretty pretty good though. It looked pretty good, but I, I'm just that type of person. If I didn't ask them for something. And I didn't ask for that color when I asked for one like this one. And I like this one two hours from Amazon. I got it in two days. See? Now, uh, they're both basically, basically the same. See? So I don't know anyway this one came with white thermal paste which is good this one came with some uh, dilated grease that's no good dilated, dilated grease is no good to put on the bottom of this module if you ever get one and, and open it up never mind that I say uh, the warranty if you open it they don't know if you open it you open it up and if it has dilated grease, take it out. 
and try to get some type of grease like this. I like this one because it has silver particles in it. And not silver, aluminum. It's called um, Arctic Arctic aluminum. I don't know if you can see it that well, but can't see it that well anyway. It's called Arctic Aluminum and it's pre premium ceramic and it, and, it, and it holds heat. It's to bring up the heat from in here and transfer it, transfer the heat from in here onto this bottom plate. This heat and this plate becomes a, a heat sink and it transfer the heat to those vents. You see those vents on the side? And that's what keeps this cool. But with dilated grease, dilated, I forget, I don't know if that's the proper name, it's some type of white grease that looks like Vaseline. Don't use that. This one came with that. This one didn't come with that. It came with the white one. You see the white one on it? Which is good. This one came with the grease. I took the grease out. You see it? You see the white line? That white line is, is, is the white Arctic silver. I mean Arctic aluminum that I that I put in there. So th that that's a good that's a real good thing. This is simple to put in. This ain't no big deal. I want when I go downstairs to the truck to put it. I want to I'm gonna show you. It's just putting the car on top that side and take out the number one plus spot plug. Make sure that it's, you stick your finger in there, you can feel the pressure as it goes up. When it goes most of the way up, you look at the, the timing marks. And if it's off, by let's say a quarter inch or whatever, you just um, take out the fan shroud from, 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 the, from the radiator. And just go in there and and with a wrench, put the put the car in neutral or, or the truck whatever it is, and finish bringing it to top dead center. Once you bring it to top dead center, that's it. You mark this here. You mark this. You mark the alternator. You mark this shaft to the body of the of the of of, of, of the of the of the. Of the truck where it's going into into that shaft housing, and you mark and you 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 make marks. I'll show you when I put it in my truck. I don't have to because there's a lot of million there's a million there's a million uh, videos out there on how to install these um, uh, distributors, high high energy distributors on the old. Chevy trucks from 1988, 1987 to 1996 or 95. So, this will make your truck. So, this one I paid like 60 bucks on eBay, uh, on Amazon for. You see the inside and everything? It looks pretty good. This one does too. This one looks alright also. But, this one, I believe they're both made in China. But Cardone is an American company. And Cardone, this company here, they send this from Amazon. Amazon send this. See, Cardone. Cardone Select. And it's new. It, this, this, this is new. This is not remanufactured. It says new, nuevo, novo. Novo, nuevo, new. Different languages. Uh, so that's basically it. This one I paid forty-eight dollars for, including shipping. But I'm sending it back because I'm keeping this one. I'm just waiting for the guy for the folks for to send me the the, the label because I didn't ask for this one. I asked for a black one like this one. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I got this one, because it's much closer, it's like a better built.
Like over here, you see? This shaft is all complete. Over here, you see that this shaft is like... It's not, it's not, it's not flush with the metal. It's like, it's not, it's, it's, it's not a solid piece. This is a solid piece. This is not a solid piece. See? Now, that's it. And, and this one costs 60, you get it overnight, you know, like a couple of days from Amazon, and this one, you get it from eBay, and you can get the same one like this from eBay too. Now, you can get it from Rock Auto, also this one, the Cardone, but they want to charge you for the core. And this guy sent me the core, sent me everything, and he ain't, he ain't charging me nothing else. You see, I'm going to keep the core for months and rebuild mines. Rebuild my core. I, I don't think, listen, I don't think the truck's going to last that much longer now anyway. But... I mean, it, it's in good shape. The truck is in good shape. It, it might last another 10 years because I did all... I rebuilt... The only thing I have to put in, the, in, in that engine is the, the, is, is the head gasket. And, and it's not that bad. It's not really that bad. And it's not overheating. It doesn't overheat. It, it, it runs it good. I put new... I put a muffler... I put the, the, the side pipes in there. The, 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 the exhaust pipes. I rebuilt exhaust pipes I put. I put new 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 exhaust system, everything, all the exhaust system, the pipes, everything in that truck. So I'll get back to you when I uh when I put in the truck. So see I was looking at, uh, online to see how this how this looked inside. Because when you, when it looks like this this is very close. It's almost the same identical as the original. It has those stars, those little stars. You see those stars that, that, um, they pulse. They're magnetic poles. And, and it, this one's the same. Now they're making these cheap ones in China that are horrible stuff. That I hope nobody ever runs into them. But all you have to do is look at this top. And if you see the, the stars. Excuse me, folks. I took out the top. The rotor. You see? You see the little stars? If it looks like that, and, and it has, and it looks like that, then you're damn, you're damn close. You're very close to what you, what you have in your truck or your car. These came in cars too. In the old uh, GMC uh, cars from 1985 to 19 uh, to 1990 from 1985 to basically 1995 they made those trucks. And then it went to a second a different generation in 1995 with the OBD2. This OBD1 after 95 came with the OBD OBD two trucks you see a different type of system so anyway folks I'll see you later have a nice day I hope this was useful to some of the people that are looking for parts online that's all I do if I don't do it for hits or anything like that I don't really don't care about no hits I, mean, I, I care about if somebody's looking for the part online and they could find it and, and they could see what I'm what, what, what it's like like I was looking for one and I couldn't find that, except I found one guy on, on YouTube with this red one. And it works pretty good on his car. Because he showed the video. And there's a video out there about this. With this one. They, I seen one for 80 bucks, the same red one like that. But this one is more, you see how the shaft is all shiny? This one is more dull, like it hasn't been, this one they put more work on it. They, they just shine it. They, 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 this one could be the same way too. If they polish it, it comes out. I think the same way. And, and you see that the, the the gasket is, is is in the bottom already stuck on it. It's already on it. The gasket. You see it? The little little ridges around it. That's the gasket.
Alright folks.